with your hoe garden. What's on a hoe garden? It's, I, a, it just says hoe it's a rolling rock. I, yeah, <laughs> I know. I poured it in the cup for you, you fucking mook. Anyway. So today we're going to talk about this guitar. This is a Fernandez, like, Strat ripoff. I'm guessing from, like, the late 70s or early 80s, it was... Your grandfather. Yep, my grandfather. He played that guitar. And you probably can't see the amp, but behind me there's a crate amp. Maybe I'll do a video with at some point that he uh, played together. That was my second amp. And he gifted these things to you, but you were in well, fact a lefty. Well, he just died. <laughs> and now they're mine. You want to put it that way, sure. But <laughs> He didn't even, it wasn't like in a will Sadly, you're a lefty. The amp you can use, the guitar not so much. So his dad and me day. have been getting more use out of it. Probably more me just in the last few hours than your dad. Yeah, I'm, I might make it left handed But you can totally tell your like grandpa probably lived with like the basic like cowboy chords. Because mm -hmm. like, it's literally like, there's like wear on the fretboard that I love to see. Because it's like such an old vintage guitar, but it's actually like worn out. But you can tell he loved playing like E minor and A minor. Like he'd do like little licks <laughs> too. It was weird. Like he'd do, it was like kind of like surfer guitar, like a lot of like the '60s type stuff, where like the cowboy chords and stuff. Yeah. But it was like all doo woppy type stuff, and he'd like sing along okay. with it. And like he'd put like the reverb on like the amp, and like do like the smacks and stuff with it, and like just sing along with it. That's and cool. then uh, he'd always like end like, I mean, with, like I little licks. It was it was cool. It was like old school type shit. Gotcha. I remember your grandpa. I never saw him play guitar, so. I only saw him play like a handful of times. Like he never played, but when he picked it up, it's like the way he played. It looked like oh, you probably did that a lot when you were younger. Yeah, or at like, least like the things he knew, he like did a lot. And well, like, the like way said, he held a chord looked like it looked because he, he like was an electrician, so his hands were like a bit more like uh, like they, they get like claw like from like playing with little wires and shit all the time. That's probably why he dug into the fretboard He's like this. <laughs> the claw, but I gotta had, play the A minor. <laughs> He's like, or at least I want A minor. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, <Oof>. stop! <laughs> no, yeah, really nice guitar. I mean, it's kind of you know, it's a bit older. It's kind of beat up. There's like a couple dead frets, like the 14th fret here is like shot. Oh, you found it finally? Yeah, but on, on the other strings I mean, it's fine. But on the high E, it's like the guitar is how old though? I mean, it's at least double it, my age, almost. Like. Yeah, almost 40 years probably. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the the one machine head. Yeah, set. this thing is you a little wonky. You can't really wonky. see it probably in the camera. If you but, turn it, it, it yeah. It, it, just, it, it tilts it. wherever it wants to. It's strange. But it stays in tune still, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm the way it sounds, I mean, we haven't played that part for you yet. Uh, or we played, we probably played the song at the beginning. So, yeah, you heard the guitar and it's great. It's been a while since we've done one of these. It's <laughs> well, I started, I changed up the formula, but. Yeah, I, I, I said we. You've yeah, done it. Yeah. We have not. It's true. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa? <laughs> no. Much <Not> worse. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so anyway. Uh, I mean, you could attest like its playability more than I could. No, it feels really nice. Like, I didn't... We got kind of heavy strings on it, so we tuned down to D. Yeah, I don't know why my dad... My dad had the guitar at his house, and his friend brought him strings. And yeah. And for standard usually, strings, and... Usually standard tuning, you'd put nines on a strat, maybe tens if you wanted a little heavier. But these were eleven to fifty-two, yeah, which is kind of a bit much. But we're in D standard with this, so it's not too. Bad. The way it sounds with that amp is like it has like this nice darkness to it, but it still sounds kind of like, yeah. Which uh, I don't think you could see unless you move move the other you'll way. Maybe you'll see it. Move the other way. I can't Morley, tell. Morley the other way. I'm gonna just stand there up. There it, there it is. <laughs> That's the amp. But uh. Yeah, that's uh, you'll see it in the shots when I'm actually playing. Yeah, because you can't uh, play it. <laughs> I can play the amp. You play the amp. I can play the guitar upside down. Not well. But <laughs> I can play it upside down a bit. Don't make me cry. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, I think the amp sounds great. I'm going to be doing a video on that. Maybe Clifford will help me with that one as well. Uh, I don't know. I'm happy with this guitar. I'm going to try to clean it up and and maybe maybe over the course of the next year or so we could document. Upgrading it and eventually makeover. flipping it lefty. Oh, give it a makeover. Yeah, it's I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you want. <laughs> it's true. It's not mine. It but... was my grandpa's. <laughs> but, but either way, we can upgrade other things before I'll we buy my lefty. own strats. Fine. You yeah. already have a strat that is lefty. But it's not my grandfather's strat. No, but you can know that it lives on through me. No, <laughs> it'll only be here for another, like ten years before you kill yourself anyway. Oh my goodness, it'll be much quicker than that. I hope so. <laughs> this, you can stop bitching about this guitar. What would you upgrade about it? Uh, I'd probably get new tuners, definitely, obviously. Uh, 
I don't know if it like it, it needs a fret job, but I'm not sure like what you could do with these frets because they're not big. So I feel like if you like tried to do fret work on it, I'm not really too experienced with like fret work. I have no experience. I feel like they'd be like even smaller, like if you like did like a fret level on this. And the bridge, I didn't mess with the whammy yet, but it's a six screw, you know, normal trim. Everything sounds good. It's just mainly just cleaning it up, new tuners, especially because I don't like these are like almost like base tuners where you got to put it in the hole. I kind of liked how that worked, actually. I, doing it was a pain in the ass. I had to restrain really, it. Oh, yeah. Well, if it's like really clean looking when you're done, though. I yeah, like it's that. not sticking out, it's but very clean looking. But yeah, I basically I think just it's also it up. unique. I like that part about it, too. I mean, I think some old defenders probably had that, I'm guessing, but. Well, you probably can't see either in like the picture in the video. If you look at the back, the way like it has that design at the top. A lot of like uh, classical guitars will have that sort of style. The tuners? Yeah, like that like wedge yeah. thing it does. I like that type of look. So I try to I, find I've older... seen these before on like old type strats. So it's yeah. definitely like a strat. Well they, I think Fender makes You've probably seen this before. We're just going yeah. over. Fender Fender makes uh I think replacements that look like those. So. Yeah, or like you can find a bunch of brands that do it like Goto, yeah, even guitar fetish, you can get like cheap ones, but I just want, I probably, if I'm gonna upgrade, I'll probably just go Go hard. Out. The yeah. pickups sound good so far. I wouldn't even fuck with the pickups. No, I would leave. I this. think the pickups. That's one of the Switch most unique feels parts good. about it. I the knobs feel shitty and old, but I kind of like that. Kinda, but like the volume is really loose. Mm -hmm. on, but the tone knobs feel okay. But this one's kind of like I hit it a couple times when we were jamming earlier. Oh yeah. And I just turned it, like it down. And it had to be like. Eh. That's why, like, if I flip it, I'm like, I hate that with strats in general. Though, like, I love strats, but like, I always hit the knob down. I think they put it there for people who are good. And yeah. they use like their pinky and finesse and like it's like a whole new which I think I, I think we might be going down that road now. I think we've discovered this new path of like wow, guitar can be really organic. Just because we and, like, play the personal. old guitar and it is, it's supposed to seem like it's old. So Yeah. I mean honestly it's a totally different feeling. Like, like if you play metal a lot, it's very like percussive and fun. And you could do a lot of bouncy stuff that I like, but playing this guitar or like I was playing my last ball through this amp and my my P V classic and the sound that you get in the way like it kind of like interacts with like how you play it's like i don't know it's hard to explain but it's like it feels like you're more involved all of a I sudden i played the classic before the classic i like but i haven't played it like i played it today though the vaporizer i, I definitely had more fun with than i remember like I, I connected with it like immediately yeah well especially it, it kept getting which more is weird because i've never i've been like oh that sounds really good but like that like the way it did but it had to heat up first like, yeah but i've never had that like much fun just playing like bluesy crap for no reason. It's got like a nice squawky sound. We'll talk about that after. Yeah, we're, we're, we're rambling a lot. Yes, it's fine. It's cool. Uh, bye. See ya. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa! All right. Here's the bridge pickup. Two, bridge, middle. Too bad I can't play. But Preston's gonna edit this later. So we're still in position two. <laughs> Middle position. Breaks up pretty easy, it's kind of nice. All right, now we're going neck and middle. <laughs> neck and middle.
And now we're on the next. Okay. Now I'm gonna kick on. This amp has a button called the vaporizer. I'm just gonna hit that shit. So. Here's a little bit of reverb on that uh, vaporized tone. I'm just gonna crank it up, so that's just be okay. That's that's nice. Yeah, it kind of suck right now, but that sounds 